What's up everybody? Kevin from Stingray Biology here. So today we are working on the rack system again. All right, it's coming along very nicely. As you can see, all the tanks are up, all the holes have been plugged, and I'm starting to work on the plumbing. All right, I wanna show you guys. So, you know, this every tank is drilled, and I have bulkheads on each one so that when I wanna drain the tank, it's very easy, just a simple turn of the knob, open, close, and the water will drain out. It will be connecting to a drain line down here, the black line, which will drain out, all right? When, when I design a system, I take my time, I plan it all out, I, I draw diagrams and really think through the process of how I want the system to be, and then I slowly implement it, right? And step by step, following my master plan. That's the way I work, okay? So today, we're gonna do some plumbing. Um, I have a couple of more of these things to glue, all right? And uh, I'll be showing you that once I glue it on, and then we'll be going on to the next step of completing the drainage system underneath this system. And it's gonna be tough because it's gonna be down there underneath, okay? And I'm gonna have to get down there and connect the drain lines, and then each tank will connect to that drain line. And then once the drainage is done, then the next step is the water return or the, the fresh water coming in, which will be plumbed right here with each individual ball valve adding water into the tank, all right? So we're gonna go step by step and uh, let's see how it goes, all right? Now, in my previous video when I was working on this, a couple of people commented, hey, get a tripod. All right, so I took your advice. This is my first time working with a tripod. Um, I actually don't even know how this is going, whether I'm in frame or not, but let's give it a try. You know, in the past, I, I, I don't like, you know, using a tripod because I'm always moving around and it's hard for me to show you everything if I'm always moving around. But in this particular place, I'm gluing this piece down here onto this tank and let's give it a try. All right. So, we're gonna apply some glue here onto Oh, I got the wrong piece. Hold on. I would have, it would have been backwards. Okay, got to pay attention. Each one is, is opposite sides. All right, so now I got the right one. Okay, here we go. Not all fun and games over here. And I, I gotta hold this in place for a while, while it sets. Believe me, I'm not laying here just to, uh, for the enjoyment of it, right? I am tired, but I gotta hold this. And I'll explain to you why uh, when I do the next one, when I'm in a more comfortable position. All right. Now I'm moving on to the next one, which is the one right here. I haven't glued yet. Um, so I want to explain a little bit um, about why I had to hold it so long. Um, a lot longer than typical uh, PVC to PVC connection. I'll explain to you why. Um, some of you guys who've done this at home will notice that when you're gluing PVC to a bulkhead, sometimes when you let go, it pushes back, right? Um, it's because this is PVC and a lot of the bulkheads nowadays, it's not PVC anymore, it's ABS, okay? So it's two different types of materials. They tend to push back, and they push back especially when you are overdoing the amount of PVC glue that you're putting on here. Uh, I guess it's some kind of reaction is causing the ABS to melt, and as it's melting, it's pushing the PVC pipe back out. So a little trick that I've learned is to obviously don't over apply the glue, all right? Just enough to to secure it, okay? So I'll put a nice light coat. Typically, after I do this, I'll dip again and get more glue, but in this case, I'm not, and I am just gonna apply it right onto the bulkhead, okay? So this gives it a nice thin layer and less of a chemical reaction where it's gonna bounce back. So here we go, okay? And 
I still have to hold it for a while so that um, it gets time to set. Because ABS is softer and we want to give it a little bit longer. And last thing I want is these things popping out. And I'll show you one where I uh, let go a little bit too early last night when I was gluing it and it practically popped out halfway. Okay. Well, let me just hold it a little bit longer just in case I don't want this thing moving. I guess another way to avoid this problem is to buy PVC bulkheads. Then when you're gluing PVC to PVC, you won't have this problem. But in any case, whenever you're gluing PVC, it's not a good idea to over apply the amount of glue. It makes a mess. And even in some cases, over applying on PVC, I've seen it bounce back some as well. Okay, I think we're... Oh my goodness. Huh. I put it on the wrong way while talking to you guys. We're gonna stop there and let me fix that problem. Sorry, I had to stop there so I was able to fix the problem. While I was talking to you guys, I actually glued it the wrong way. Um, I had glued it around this way by mistake and I had to swing it around this way. So given that it's, I'm dealing with the glue, I had to act fast. So I had to stop recording and fix the problem. Uh, unfortunately, it was set already and I couldn't turn it. So what I had to do was I had to loosen the bulkhead, swing the, the, the piece around to face the opposite way and then retighten the bulkhead. So that's taken care of and now we're moving on to gluing the last piece which is the piece that goes down here. Again, I'm working with a tripod and I don't know how this is coming out but I will do my best. Apply a light coat right there and then now I gotta get under here into this bulkhead quickly. Okay. Make sure I'm going the right way this time. Don't make the same mistake. So, a lot of today's video, I will be down here on the floor like this because, like I said, I am doing plumbing underneath here. All right, looks good. So, let me close this up. What I do want to show you is the piece that I glued where I put too much glue and I didn't hold it long and it kind of separated. Here we go, I don't, let's see, we can see it right there. It's right here. There's, a, there's about a quarter of an inch gap here where my finger is. Okay, um, it should be all the way up against the bulkhead from here up to there, but it kind of expanded out. Maybe you can see it here too, it expanded out a little bit. Okay, but what I want but well, what I wanted was a tighter fit like that. You see? But it's okay. Um, not much I can do about it now. So we're gonna move on to the next step and uh, I'm gonna start laying out the ABS pipe for the drainage, all right? I'll be right back. What I'm gonna do now is um, start gluing together some components to my drainage system and let that dry a little bit first before uh, laying down the whole pipe. So uh, what this is, is it's a four-way drainage uh, connector. So each tank will drain into this one and so forth. And then this is gonna make up the whole line that's underneath the, the tank there. So I'm just gonna glue these together so I don't have to deal with it later. The cool thing about ABS is they have these markings here to help you line up the fittings correctly. Whereas uh, with PVC, sometimes you just kind of have to do it by eye. But this I can rely on the fittings having these notches here to line it up properly, which is pretty cool and very, very helpful. It takes a lot of the guesswork out.
right, there we go. Let that dry, and then we'll move on to the next step. Always remember, close your glue.